Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Demeji Williams. I work as a hospitalist physician. So as a hospitalist physician, I work only within the hospital setting. I admit patients from the emergency room and I follow them throughout the hospitalization so that eventually they can be discharged out of the hospital. Day one, we admit patients from the emergency room. We consult the specialties that need to be consulted. For example, if a patient comes in with a possible stroke, we'll consult the neurology team. The neurology team will see the patient, give us their recommendations, and then we'll continue to follow the patients throughout their hospitalization. And eventually the main goal is to get them discharged out of the hospital in a stable manner. So when I was in medical school, I was initially interested in cardiology, and then I started residency, and I started to really appreciate the hospital's medicine field. So medical school, cardiology, I love reading EKGs. I thought cardiology was a very interesting specialty. Once I got into residency, I decided that it wasn't really the right fit for me. Um, and I started looking at other specialties. I looked into nephrology, infectious disease, endocrinology, and none of those really had the right feel for me either. I really enjoy the fact that hospitalist medicine has a lot of flexibility. So flexibility in terms of work-life balance, but also in the fact that I never really get bored. So I can see patients with so many different diagnoses in the same day. I can see a patient for a neurological reason, for an infectious disease uh, region. I can see a patient with a cardiology um, diagnosis. And for me, I think it's very interesting because of the fact that I would never ever reach a point where I get bored and I always have that flexibility in terms of also my work-life balance. So that's because most hospitalists uh, positions you work one week on one week off or two weeks on two weeks off and there's a lot of ability to change your schedule um, if you have other colleagues that want to switch so I think having that work-life balance is really important as a physician and you really do get that within hospitalist medicine so the average compensation um, within hospitalist medicine it really ranges between I would say about 250,000 to 400,000 per year it also depends on where you are practicing uh, whether it's in a rural area whether in the city in the rural area you're gonna get paid a little bit more in the city you're gonna get paid probably a little bit less but also depends on um, your experience within the field how many years um, have you been practicing for some positions also have bonuses so things like RVU bonuses where you see more patients you get paid more for me mentorship is very very important it's been important throughout my life and I would even go as far back as when I was in high school. I think I was very fortunate in the fact that in my residency program, I had outstanding mentors. I had, I had peer mentors, I had attendings who were my mentors who made sure that I was put in a position where I would succeed no matter what field I decided to go on. Because like I said, initially I was interested in cardiology. So I had cardiology mentors. And then I was thinking maybe nephrology. I had nephrology mentors as well. Um, and then when I finally decided on hospitalist medicine, I actually had those mentors from my first year of residency because of the fact that internal medicine was my residency program. So mentorship is so important and it's really made it so that I can be in the position that I am now. So now let's talk about um, who I think would succeed within hospitalist medicine. The first thing I would say, and the most important, if, you're, if you think you can succeed in hospitalist medicine, you need to ask yourself, do you enjoy speaking to patients? That is the most important thing. As a hospitalist medicine physician, you're seeing several patients every single day, and you really have to enjoy speaking to them and making them get better throughout their hospitalization. Um, the second thing is, do you enjoy medicine? Do you enjoy internal medicine? Because that's what you're gonna be doing every single day. Uh, so you really, really have to enjoy medicine and you have to enjoy speaking and talking to patients on a regular basis. And if that's what you wanna do, Go ahead and do it. Hospitalist medicine is a beautiful field. I love it. It's very interesting. Lots of flexibility, perfect work-life balance. Do hospitalist medicine. What is the percentage of underrepresented minorities in that field? And it's around 8.6%. And just from that number alone, you can understand that we need more underrepresented minorities in hospitalist medicine and in general internal medicine as well. Uh, cool work day for me. In general, my role in my position is actually primarily just admitting patients. So I come in about 4 p.m. every single day and I admit patients from the emergency room. I usually admit anywhere between 8 to 12 patients every day. I admit them from 4 p.m. and my day ends up around about 12 a.m. My advice for people that are interested in hospitalist medicine 
is that you do your research, talk to people within the field, talk to residents, talk to attendings, and make sure that you actually explore other specialties as well. So cardiology, uh, neurology, infectious disease, endocrinology, pulmonology, critical care, make sure you explore these other specialties as well to make sure that hospitalist medicine is the right fit for you. Make sure that you enjoy speaking to patients, that you, you know, are comfortable making patients feel comfortable um, and that you enjoy seeing them throughout the hospitalization, making sure that they get better and eventually discharging them from the hospital. What Lota and her colleagues are doing with Zavolta Medical is absolutely incredible. I think platforms like these are so important for our youth to understand that you can do STEM, you can pursue a career in STEM. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, these roles they need you very passionate about this you know i really think it's important for our black youth to understand that this platforms like this are completely invaluable they are crucial and um you know i'm really looking forward to doing more big things with the